Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Some of the biggest Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP holders in existence moving mass amounts of crypto amid market pullback. That's the headline from DailyHodl.com, a new piece from today. And it is fact that uh, 53 million XRP were moved and cited within this piece. So I'll give you the specifics here. So I'm going to run through this. Uh, also going to be talking a lot about price in this video. I've got all sorts of opinions to share with you from various traders and chart analysts. Now, I myself am a, not a trader, not a chart analyst. I have no financial background and uh, not a financial advisor. You shouldn't buy or sell because of anything that I say or write, period. Uh, but uh, I do think it's fun to follow this stuff just as an enthusiastic member of the XRP community. So before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button. And if you're a fan of Ripple and XRP, you done came to the right spot, son. Go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. Because if you do, all of your wildest dreams will come true. Vote for Pedro. All right, so the uh, asset class, market cap for the asset class, $293 billion dollars. Uh, Bitcoin's at $10,269 as I record this, and XRP is trading at 28.2 cents. And uh, the last 24 hours have been interesting. XRP's been heading upward, and uh, Bitcoin most certainly has as well. It's, again, obviously back, like I said, just at $10,269, so back above $10,000 after having dipped below for a while. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and dig into this piece. What are all these people doing moving all these huge quantities of XRP and Bitcoin around? Well, Bitcoin's quick retracement from its uh, Saturday high of $10,153 is forcing some of the biggest crypto whales in existence to surface. Bitcoin is down 2.71% in the last 24 hours, according to CoinMarketCap, reaching $9,753 at time of publishing. And so again, we have the benefit of hindsight here. Obviously, we know that Bitcoin's uh, uh, over $10,200 now. Um, in the same time frame, Bitcoin whales moved 37,647 Bitcoin worth $374.1 million across 24 separate transactions. The largest single transaction sent 15,000 Bitcoin worth $151 million uh, between two wallets of unknown origin. Um, of the 24 transfers, 12 involved Bitcoin moving from cryptocurrency exchanges to unknown wallets. 10 of the transfers sent Bitcoin from uh, an unknown wallet to an exchange where it could be sold on the open market. So, interestingly, uh, it seems like um, all of the, you know, the, the tumultuous nature of the asset class in terms of uh, price volatility as of late, it's uh, it's got everyone a flurry here, and you got these whales being extra splishy splashy right here. Uh, so move down here. Let me get to the XRP part of this now. Uh, meanwhile, XRP whales are also making a splash. The crypto tracker Whale Alert caught two large XRP holders moving funds. One transfer sent 33 million XRP worth $9.1 million from the crypto exchange BitHum to an unknown wallet. The other moved, I'll just round up, to 20 million XRP worth $5.4 million uh, from an unknown wallet to Bittrex. And then they go on to talk about uh, Ethereum right here, which I'll, I'll just gloss over at that point. I think you get the gist of it here. Uh, these whales, uh, they, uh, they, just, uh, they, they don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, next year, here's an, a, a chart analyst, Dennis Surachek, who is a, uh, a trader, a uh, chart analyst with Crypto Media Outlet U today. And he's got his, what he calls his price prediction, XRP. So let me scroll down to this part here. Um, XRP is the main loser compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Gotta love the benefit of hindsight. Uh, the rate of the third most popular crypto has dropped by 0.06%. Oh, huge loser. Uh, in terms of the short-term price forecast... XRP is already facing a correction before one more bullish wave starts. In this case, the bottom of the local decline might be the support level at 26.5 cents. What is more, the lines of the MACD indicator are moving downward, uh, confirming the price decrease. With, of course, Max, MACD uh, being the, uh, the freshest musical artist in all of hip-hop. MACD. Keep it fresh. Um, XRP is trading at 27.27 cents at the time that he wrote this anyway. And we know it's gone up a bit since then. Now, uh, here's the next piece from you today. Bitcoin price blast past $10,000 reaches new 2020 high. Is correction over? Well, I would like to know if the correction is over. Um, let me scroll down a little bit further. Um... Where's the part that I wanted to jump? Oh, maybe that was it. Zoot. Sorry here. Uh, the Bitcoin price has breached the $10,000 mark for the second time this year. 
on a Gemini exchange. The leading cryptocurrency reached an intraday high of $10,226 after uh, adding almost $500 on February 11th. As reported by you today, Bitcoin plunged to uh, $9,600 on February 10th, just one day after surging above $10,000. This is viewed as a precursor to a deeper correction. However, it now seems like the bulls have complete control over the market once again. It looks like that right now. Uh, Really, I'll tell you this, though. uh, People think that, generally speaking, if you look on a bigger picture, macro level, from what I've seen, most traders seem to think that uh, we're more of an uptrend at this point, despite any uh, temporary pullbacks here. All right, uh, take a look at this now. Bitcoin indicator suggests 190% rally coming, says Fundstrat analyst Tom Lee. And this is a piece from DailyHodl.com. Uh, Bitcoin is starting 2020 with a bang with double-digit gains in January. The top cryptocurrency briefly breached psychological resistance at one. Uh, I'm sorry, not 100, at $10,000 over the weekend. Uh, even with the current pullback to $9,757, Bitcoin is still up by over 36% year-to-date with uh, more upside potential this year, according to Fundstrat co-founder Tom Lee. In a recent appearance on CNBC's Power Lunch, Lee argues that Bitcoin is now at the start of a new bull run. Here's a quote. A lot of good things have happened with Bitcoin this year. Uh, One is the happening is happening in May. But we broke above the 200-day moving average, so back in a bull market. Uh, There's the coronavirus risk and geopolitical tension. Last year, I think the Washington, uh, I think Washington killed the Bitcoin rally, but with the elections, it's sort of not in the purview of Washington. So I think Bitcoin could rally very strongly from here. And then he added, "Quote: When Bitcoin breaks above its 200-day, which it did about two weeks ago, its average six-month gain is about 190 percent. So this would point to all-time highs sometime this year." Well, that would be fascinating. Uh, next, here's a tweet from uh, Awake, who is at Mr. Level Up on Twitter, member of the XRP community. And he wrote something simple, but I like it. Lots of green will continue to light up the space. Go XRP. As Bill Shakespeare once said, brevity is the soul of wit. All right, next. Here's a tweet from High Altitude Investing. Dude, this Bitcoin Elliott Wave count just keeps getting sexier. Three-wave minimum target equals $23,000 for Bitcoin. $23,000. Volume keeps growing and breaking records. Ichimoku Cloud, which sounds made up, is now supported on 3D. The cycle is just getting started here. And this is what I'm telling you. So I just highlighted um, Tom Lee, and now we've got High Altitude Investor. I'm telling you, the, the general view from, from uh, chart analysts is that uh, this is the real deal here. Right? We are heading, that's the way that I'm taking it, the way that everybody's out there. Because I'm not pretending to know how to read charts. I don't want to learn how to read charts. I just love researching fundamentals. I'm a long-term holder, so that's all I'm actually interested in, in like learning for myself. But that's why it's fun to be aware of the opinions of people that actually know how to read charts and are, and are traders. It, it is interesting. I just don't want to learn how to do it myself. That's all. All right. Um, now, here's a tweet from Glassnode. Check this out. This is also interesting. Historically... When Bitcoin has approached local or global tops, we've seen increased deposits to exchanges as investors look to sell. Not this time. There's no indication that Bitcoin is overvalued. Well, how about that one? Next, here's a tweet from Josh Rager. Sounds angry. Per previous tweet, the area to watch was $10,400. Bitcoin pumped and tapped the top of the value area high, and also weekly resistance. A close above there, I think price continues to push higher before the next pullback. All right, next, here's another tweet. Um, this is from, yeah, here we go. This is, uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I mean, I'm, I apologize. I don't believe that I meant to, to uh, pull this one. I probably, uh, when I was mapping out the videos earlier, I guess I accidentally stuck this one in here. This was about XTZ which is not something that I uh, would typically highlight on an XRP-centric channel. I'm willing to talk about the the price action of Bitcoin and Ethereum and XRP, but I I really haven't ever strayed outside of that. Uh, Not that I can recall off the top of my head anyway. Uh, At least uh, certainly not in any meaningful way. Anyway, moving onward. Uh, Next, here's a tweet from Patty Stash. We are now building our 11th straight green candle on the altcoin dominance chart. It's been a minute since we've seen action like this. The best part... It's just getting going. 
here's to two plus years of upwards movement. And here's the uh, chart that he had associated with this. This is an altcoin market cap dominance chart here. And so again, you can see people are like, huh, this is an indicator that uh, we're about to set off to something long-term pretty special here. Next, here is a tweet from Patty Stash again. No better feeling than Bitcoin pumping while it gives up dominance to altcoins. This is the ideal scenario because not only are Bitcoin maximalists happy, but the altcoin holders are also benefiting, sitting on big support here now. Lose this, and it's, uh, it's to the next green line. All right, and last tweet for this video here. It's short from Leb Crypto. XRP monthly chart, hashtag bullish. Again, brevity is a soul, but that's what Bill Shakespeare said. So uh, where's XRP going here? Well, we're going to keep tracking this here. It is, uh, like I said, 28.2 cents. And now it's at 28.1 cents as I'm sitting here recording this. And, uh, man, I wish I could eat. I tell you what. I, and again, I never make price predictions. I'm never going to, but I, I am so fascinated by this. If, if I could just fast forward one year, I would love to know if I were on this page on Live Coin Watch, the page that I'm on right now, if I could just be on this page but one year from now, what is that number going to read? Is it going to let me down? It's going to be at 28 cents still. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> eh, probably not. Look, the way all these charts, if the chart analysts are too believed, to be believed. Uh, there's going to be some really interesting price action. So I think we all got something special in store for the 2020 calendar year. But uh, who knows? Sit tight. We're going to find out. That's it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. So that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.